Hello everybody, and welcome to some more stellar content from the Fractured Moon Network. So what are we doing today, John? Well, in, in this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about our favourite characters and ranking them in this great tier list that will be somewhere on the screen. In this tier list, we have four tiers. I don't think you need to explain what a tier list is, John. Yeah. I think people can understand. If they don't know, then I'm sure they'll work it out while watching the video. But the thing is, is that there are three people here, and we all have different opinions of the different characters from Trigger Happy. So therefore, we're going to be arguing where we want to put characters on the tier list. Unless we all want them all in the same place, which I really hope is going to be the case. Because I don't want to have to shout at people today. But you never know. I, all right. That's inevitable. I, I hope that's the case. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of hope, shall we crack on? Start with Monokuma. I guess that's an easy one to start with. Everyone's favourite mascot. So Harry, where do you, we'll start off with you. Where do you feel that he should be on this list? Well, like, I quite like Monokuma. I think he's a, he's a, he works for the game. Like, he, he, he's this, like, random cute teddy bear who's all about murdering people, like, stereotypical anime, which I love, because it's just funny. Yeah. So, personally, I would put... Monokuma on B tier because he's good, but he's not that good. Yes, Hannah, what do you feel? Uh, I've always quite liked Monokuma. I thought just because he's quite weird and random, um, but then like he's just a bit different than when you expect when you sort of first see him and as you're going through the game. Um, but I probably actually agree with Harry. I wasn't gonna try and agree, but I actually do kind of agree that probably B tier. Oh, for God's sake, <laughs> yeah. Jordan, it's time to cause some controversy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cause some controversy. I have right, BT it. <laughs> what? So, Makoto Nagi, best protagonist. Where are we putting him? Hannah, go first. Um, I'd actually put him in probably A tier because I think he's actually <laughs> because I actually think he was a pretty good character, and he always voiced out like he always said stuff, and he always I don't know. It's quite weird. My brain is working today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good day. <laughs> My brain isn't working. <laughs> just atheist. That's hey. insulting. Jo Jordan, back me well, up here. I am gonna dis I am gonna disagree and say mm -hmm. that he should be on S tier. Because in this in the game, obviously story wise, it's fantastic. You're obviously gonna have a bond with him because he's basically in the in the sense of you. But it, to me, it's his presence in the class trial that really make him stand out. For this to work, you have to really, in a way, say my case to him with objection. It'd be boring if it's just an objection. <laughs> Makoto works well because he's quite loud, he's quite clear. It's like when he sticks, like, whoa, and you're, you're shut back. And to me, that's why he should be an S tier, in my opinion. 100%. Makoto, I just remember, ladies and gentlemen at home, right? I just remember like what one two o'clock conversation that me and John had about the, just the protagonists of Danganronpa and my god it, yeah yeah Makoto was going S tier sorry Hannah you can challenge us if you want Hannah if you think we're wrong no no your opinion's yeah. wrong all right we're moving on <laughs> everyone's entitled to opinion but yours is wrong <laughs> all right so Mrs. Death Flag herself Sayaka Maizono what do we think John what do you think? I of think C tier. Oof, okay. She had a very clear death flag. She didn't really have that much development apart from her death flag, and she wanted to save her pop idol group. And at the end of the day, while people say, oh yeah, she really did care about Makoto, but at the same point, she still tried to frame him for murder, and it was all kind of fake. So I'm going to say C tier. Oh my days. Nah, mate. <laughs> I, I, I can't put Sayaka on C tier, like, she's good. I, I would put her on B personally because, like, she was supposed to be the support character and that was, like, the whole point of her existing. And I do think she's quite quirky and quite cool. Like, I, I do find the whole, like, I'm psychic thing quite funny. And it shouldn't be. Oh, and she's also mental, which is hilarious. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. I, I, I like her. I like her too much to not put her, to put her in C tier. So I, I want to put her on B. At the very least, level peg into like Monokuma, for God's sake. I'm, I'm kind of torn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm torn, actually, between B and C. Because there were moments... Well, they're in the C.5 tier, Hannah. You've got to decide. 
<laughs> well, no, it's because there were there were bits about her that I liked, but then also in general there were also parts that I didn't quite like. So I kind of like Harry said, I kind of like the sort of jokes about being psychic. And yeah, I know people sort of said, oh, she was good after all. She tried to save Makoto rather than frame him, but that was only after her plans went to shit. <laughs> Oh yeah. So I would probably, I don't know, I'd probably put her in B. Good. Do you want to know who we've got next? Oh no. <laughs> the 16th student in Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> you need to watch out for a good old Mukuro Ikusaba C tier. I'm done. She's in it, she dies, she has no purpose, she's terrible in Danganronpa 3. There we go, I'm done. <laughs> Hannah, what do you think? She basically holds nothing in terms of what actually happens, but to be wow. honest, she doesn't really have much of a character, so I definitely put her in C tier. John? She's literally there as a false body. I'm gonna be honest, don't, I don't even need to disagree C tier. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, everyone's favourite antagonist, or at least should be, <laughs> Byakia. Togami. I want to start with you actually, Jordan, because you want to cosplay Byakia, so you must clearly have high opinions of him. It's between A and S tier. Because he's really good, and he plays the really good villain, even though it's not a villain, but an antagonist card. Yes, he's quite cold and he's quite brutal, but as you say, he almost like falls out a little bit and has a bit of a heart near the end. I'll be honest, I'll put him at A tier. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta agree with that for basically all the reasons you just said. I think, yeah, you're not supposed to like Byakia, but because of that, he's written really well. But even though he's written to be an antagonist, he has some really good points. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. I would totally put him at A as well. Hannah? Um, yeah, like, uh, I remember when I first started playing, I didn't really like him. But as I realised that actually that's how his character is meant to be, I actually did start to like him a lot more. And then as it obviously carries on, it was like, yeah, no, he's a really cool character. So I, yeah, I definitely agree with putting him in A tier. All right. So, Leon, Leon, <laughs> Kawata, everybody. I'm going to start because I remember straight up, right? John, and I think you basically finished Trigger Happy pretty much before I'd even started playing it, right? Yes. And I turned around to you and said, I, I like Leon, I think he has a lot of potential. And you were just there with gritted teeth, like, <laughs> oh yeah, cool mate! <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> and then when I, when I saw the infamous 11037, I would just stood up <laughs> off my chair and was like, what is this? <laughs> I was not happy, I was not happy. But then at the same time, he is a bit of a crap character, like potential's good. But he's a bit meh. So I'm, personally, I would put him at B just because I do think if he hadn't have died, he could have been a really good character. Or he, if he hadn't killed Sayaka, he would have been a really good character. What do we think? I can see what you mean by the potential that he could have had, but I feel like mm. obviously with him dying, <laughs> it kind of but just yeah. screws up everything, and you don't—he doesn't get the chance to. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I would, I would maybe, yeah, I guess B tier. What are you guys talking about? Surely you should be in C tier. There is literally a quote in the Danganronpa Abridged where Hina cuts him off and goes, Oh yeah, the abridged. The abridged <laughs> yeah. is different though. Yeah, but you know, nobody cares about you out the way. I mean, unfortunately, I can't argue with that logic, but... <laughs> like, as you say, he, is that dumb? He literally leaves his own name on the wall for people to find. But he doesn't see it though, apparently. Would you yeah, notice if you had just <laughs> killed someone, you'd be in a blind panic of, oh shit, I need to get away with this. I need to use a lint roller to clean up all my hair. Furious <laughs> 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 rolling intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it could have been alright. But at the same time, Puddle should have. Doesn't. I'd put him in C. Ah. Oh. That's wrong. Alright. Chief Hero Fujisaki. But I, guarantee, I guarantee fooled at least one person. It's a trap! So, I'll go first with Chihiro. Uh, I'm gonna be brutal. I genuinely think Chihiro is, is... His only role in the thing is pretty much as an engine for Mondo's backstory. Which, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think he's that good, personally. I'm gonna get hated on the internet for this, but I don't care. I would put Chihiro in C tier. I don't think he's very good. He's a bit boring, and I, I don't, I don't know, I don't like his, uh, I think his backstory is a bit meh, and kind of just, it's just there for Mondo's motive, 
My my vote is C tier for Chihiro, and it, it's the start of his name as well, so boom. That's my logic. <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, I disagree slightly. Like, I feel that, yes, while it was just fuel for Mondo's story, there's still the story of he wanted to get stronger. He still had, in a way, he was still finding hope. And he wasn't, I agree, character developer as he should know where to be near SRA. For me, Shihiro was only okay because, or better than, in my opinion, better than Cita, only because of Alter Ego. But yeah, he was definitely there just to be fuel for Wando's backstory. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my point. No one cares about the fuel. <laughs> when, you, when, you're loading, but, when you're loading, you're loading, no. you're loading up a fire. You don't care about the individual bits of wood. You're slobbing on, right? You're chucking on. <laughs> No one cares, alright? And all I'm saying is Chihiro caused a murder. But other than that, right? No, I'm, I'm C tier, right? I'm, I'm adamant no, C tier right now. No, I think I think because of Alter Ego, Chihiro should be in B tier. Alter oh, Ego caused a murder! I just said that! <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you, can't have, you can't have Leon in B tier and, and have Chihiro in C tier. Sorry, you fucking fine. <laughs> Let's just move on. Let's just move on, all right? Uh, Let's just move on. <laughs> Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Jordan. Eighty. I'm letting you go first. You what? <laughs> he is welcome in a school environment, Eighty. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need to get your head out of the bridge. No one cares no, about the bridge no, right now. Even, You're not using that as your argument. Even, you wouldn't get S here, I admit that. Because... Not a chance. In the back half... Yes, his story goes a little bit more towards Mondo and it goes a bit crazy in case three. So I admit, yes, he's not a perfect character. But up until they basically make his story with Mondo, he's a fantastic character. He's loud, you know his presence is there, and at the end of the day he just wants to make sure everyone's okay. And like he tried Everything you just said, everything you just said is the exact reason why I don't like him and I only <laughs> want him in and want him in C tier. No, we're not having him in C tier. No. We're having eight, no, eight, 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 eight. <laughs> Just shouts all the time, like I'm doing right now, ironically. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, he's just so annoying. So annoying. Hang on, sorry, we haven't heard from you yet. So okay, Jordan so wants him in A, Harry <laughs> wants him in C. I would actually go for B. <laughs> Not just because it's the middle ground, but I honestly think there's there's points that I do like about him, and with him shouting all the time, I'm used to that. <laughs> I'm used to people shouting all the time. So, <laughs> I've made it sound a lot worse than it meant to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay at home, Hannah? I'm one of my cadets, alright? <laughs> He's the typical character that you would find in cadets, so that's what I'm used to, and that's why I was kind of drawn to him. But I think everything that happened with Mondo made him a worse character, and I didn't oh, like that. Yeah. Um... But I don't think he's that bad to be in C tier. I did quite like him, but he's definitely not he's not good enough to be in A tier. No, he is good enough. So, not, not by a long shot. No, not I would definitely say shot. B. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not... I'm, definitely not A. I am nowhere... I cannot agree with you, John. He is <laughs> just not that good of a character. Like, I... I don't give a crap if his backstory is good or not. I cannot be asked to talk. To, I cannot be asked to waste my time with Taka just to learn his backstory when I could be spending my time with oh I don't know any other character. <laughs> so like I just I no all right just no just no. Shall we just shall we just do a compromise and go for B then? <laughs> you know what? Fine. No, I completely disagree on all farms, but fine. <laughs> good. But at least we might be able to agree on Mondo Awata, who we were, you know, we've touched on multiple times now. Now it's time to actually put Mondo in the list. Where are you thinking Mondo should go, Hannah? We're gonna take this first. God damn it! Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a little unsure because at first I was, it wasn't the character I was drawn to, um, so you can just get to know. But then I don't know. He ended up being kind of cool. Although I, I for me, his reason his his motive seemed a bit rubbish in my opinion of <laughs> don't jordan's just been shot <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion i wasn't overly fussed so i'd probably put him in b tier oh, b tier oh. uh, push, uh, push probably a tier i guess <laughs> don't change no, your no, mind no, that's no, me no, no pressure <laughs> no pressure this is an jordan 
<laughs> Even if you have a wrong opinion, you're still entitled to an opinion. So if you want to be one of the B tier, it's fine. I would definitely put in that. Definitely A tier. Because uh, for such a, what came across as such an aggressive character, he actually showed quite a soft side and quite an honourable side. And like, while he could have quite easily been just like, no, don't talk to me, I'm really angry all the time. He doesn't, he actually tries to sink in. And he, like, he, in a way, you could tell he wishes he hadn't killed Chihiro. Like, hell, why did he, and it's, even when he did, he still honoured everything by moving, moving him to the girls' changing room. Like, he never had to do that. And even in killing someone, yes, all right, his backstory might be a little bit run of the mill, but even at the same point, it's still in a way it shows another layer to the character. You say his backstory is run of the mill? Are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, he's, I would definitely put him in eight. Not a shout. Mondo Water deserves to be in S tier. Mondo oh, is <laughs> awesome as hell. Mondo's great. I absolutely love Mondo. If you ask me, and Mondo is one of the best characters, not just in Trigger Happy, but in Danganronpa. Ooh. He is great. I think he has amazing morals. I think um, even though he's supposed to be this hardcore biker gang dude, and like, okay, in the prologue, he literally just knocks the shit out of Makoto, which is hilarious. <laughs> he just knocks him out for kind of no reason. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But he very quickly sheds out of that character arc, and I just, I just really love Mondo. I think he's just great morals, great character. Like you said, John, didn't actually want to kill Chihiro. Like he did it out of a pure fit of rage, which is the theory class that we actually covered uh, earlier in the Dengarom season. Go check it out. Like, ah. Oh. He, Mondo is amazing. Like, Mondo deserves to be an S tier. I would definitely put him in A tier, I guess, now. Like, hearing some of the <sighs> things and thinking about it a little bit more. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as S tier. S tier. But oh, but he's A-tier. so good! <laughs> so you're saying that Mondo is on the same level as Makoto? Yes. Easy. Easy. Easy class. Well, admit, he's so good. He, he's a good character, I admit, but I'd say S tier is a little bit extreme for him. Nah. Perfect. <laughs> it's not like there's a tier above at the moment that he can go into. <laughs> so we, we, we he's, he's got to go next tier. He can't go. Oh. No, no, eight, eight. I don't, I don't like either of you. You both crap. <laughs> you can redeem yourself here though with Hifumi Yamada. C tier. Where are we? <laughs> Wait, what? Did you say A tier? I said C. <laughs> oh, thank God. No, do not worry. Say, I did not say A tier. <laughs> C tier. Oh no. <laughs> Thank God, John. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be honest. Doesn't yeah. even need an explanation, just seat it. All right, great. <laughs> just such Speaking a of seat it, oh, no. it's time for Celestia Ludenberg. Now, I'm just going to come out straight away and say she is one of my most hated characters in all of Danganronpa. I'm looking dead at the face cam, right? Come at me in the comments section. I don't care. All right, she is terrible. I don't care how much you like her. She's terrible. All right? Done. See you later. See you later. Next character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, hang whoa, on whoa. a minute. Hang <laughs> on a minute. <laughs> no, fine. I suppose I have to hear both your opinions as well. Jordan? I would put her in G tier. I can't see your face cam footage, but I assume they're not very pleasant expressions. Uh, she's not as bad as the film, me and the uh, crew. So I forgot her name, then that's how bad she is. <laughs> Yes, she is not very good redeeming features, and while she becomes the most obvious murder suspect in case three, she has the opposite of redeeming features. I'm going to shut up. No, you <laughs> just stop. <laughs> uh, I feel that in a way there is some mysteriousness there, and like she's not com- <laughs> she's not completely terrible, but, but then when it suddenly gets a little bit weird when money's brought into it, so I admit while she's not. She is nowhere near top tier, I'd, but I'd say B tier is fine. I do think fine. Oh, I think she should definitely be up in S tier. Please tell what? me you're joking. <laughs> oh yeah, no, she definitely should be up in S tier. I'm joking. I can tell. No, I that's would... a lie. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, Harry. You're as bad at lying as Celeste is. 
What the hell? <laughs> yeah, because I was really so trying. Good at lying? Are you? Oh. I think she should be innocent. No, I, I, I said she should be in C tier. I mean, if you feel no job. No, no job. No, just shut the, shut up. All right. Right. So Jun Junko Enoshima, the actual ultimate despair. What are we, what are we thinking with her, John? Uh, I would probably put, I'd put her in B tier with Monokuma. It was a really nice twist when they did it. I'll be honest, they foreshadowed it a little bit too heavily. And yes, everyone on planet Earth cosplays Junko. Like, she actually holds a Guinness World Record for most cosplay video game character. But yeah. I, I'll be honest, there's nothing special about her. She's a little bit like the Joker, just oh, crazy because she's crazy. Like, absolutely terrible. She's a little bit charismatic, so I would put her in B. Anna? Um... I I don't know. I'd probably put her either in B or C because I didn't actually as I liked the twist of it, but with with Junko, the way that she kept changing the way she spoke, like like slightly different personalities, it just really annoyed me. Yeah, oh, I completely it just, agree with that. It just, didn't, it just didn't fit to me. Like it didn't really bring anything to it, it just made her more annoying. I think she would have been a lot better if they didn't put that in. I know exactly what you mean. I, I'm I'm being brutal. I'm saying heavy C tier right here. I know we literally put Monokuma in B, but Monokuma is the she's, only one of the personalities that I can actually tolerate. Yeah. Yeah, and oh my god, it's just <laughs> the personalities are annoying, and most of them are a bit crap anyway. In fact, yeah. to be fair, all of them are a bit crap. And the whole thing, I'm gonna be brutal. The reason why I don't like her and don't really like her as a villain is simply because. There's no real motivation apart from despair because, like, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, what? I don't, I don't really, I just don't like it. It's as simple as that. And I don't know. She's not super compelling. As soon as you, like, notice in the pictures that everybody gets that her face is covered up constantly, it becomes really obvious. In fact, hell, I noticed it when you just look at the photos and I'm like, don't tell me she's the uh, mastermind. I was like, oh, for God's sake. Like, I, I don't know, I like the case, but I don't like her, so I'm going C tier. What? Are we going C tier, or are we pushing B? I would B? say C, because I was, I, was I was kind of in between B or C, but it was more C than B anyway. I would go for C. Would... Jordan disagrees. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll be honest, it, no, it, I'd say she was at least a B minus anyway, so I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd put, I'm happy for Yeah, C we're going C. Yeah. Alright, yeah. speaking of C tier, Toko for Kawa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want you to go first, Hannah, go for it. I did not like Toko. I would definitely Good. say C tier. To Toko was just annoying and whiny and I hated her obsession with the Acura. It was more the way she did I just, I don't know, those kind of people, I know some of those people in real life and I do not like them. <laughs> <laughs> not quite as extreme, but like that. And oh my word, I can't stand them. So I would definitely put them <laughs> in C tier. So what tier are you putting her in then, John? <laughs> I'll be honest, say she's one of the final survivors. Her stories, they're like, oh no, she's a serial killer, which you get in case two, which is cool enough. But then that's where her character development stops. And to say 100%. that there are far more cases with her in, she's literally just sat there. Yeah, no, I, I agree completely. Like, that's the, the thing that I always go to with Toko is. I played uh, Ultra Despair Girls. I know you haven't, Hannah, so I won't go into any major detail. <laughs> but she's in it for like 99% of the game and still kind of has no development apart from Kamaru's my friend and that's it. And I'm just like, cool, <laughs> I still don't like you after an entire spending literally an entire game with you. You're still crap. So it's, yeah, I'm off. Are we all agreeing in C tier? Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of B's and C's, I've just noticed. I was, I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah, but all the good characters are at the end. But I think that's, that's about to change. Well, maybe not maybe not on this one, but maybe a little yeah. bit later. Anyway, so... <laughs> Genocide Jack, or if you watch the animation, Genocide a Show, which sounds weird. So yeah. we'll go with Genocide Jack. This is going to sound really weird, considering we just put Toko in C. But I actually kind of like Genocide Jack. No, I, I do. It's actually... <laughs> Yeah, I think she's actually just really funny and just randomly quirky. All right, yeah, she still like comes out with some dumb as hell comments and uh, doesn't really provide anything major. But I just think because she's just a lot more quirky than Toko and in a way a lot more memorable, which is a good 
thing for a character. I want to put her in C tier. Uh, sorry, B tier. <laughs> I agree. I think she should be in B tier because as soon as Genocide Jack came about, I was thinking I prefer Genocide Jack way more than Toko, and I did, yeah, I preferred it when Genocide Jack was actually around <laughs> compared to Toko. Just I don't know, a lot more fun, actually kind of quirky. I thought it was like a really weird character design, like with the really long tongue, but like it made it that kind of creepy. That's kind of cool <laughs> in a weird way. <laughs> All right, we're not reading into that sentence, Jordan. <laughs> I'll be honest. She can be quite annoying in places, and can almost be used to say, she'll almost just butt in for no reason sometimes, like, oh yeah, that's how a murderer would do it, trust me, I'd know. I'd have maybe liked with Genocide Jack just to have a little bit more than just, I'm a serial killer. It's like every other character in the game, I know she's technically a personality of Toko, but everything in the character, in the thing, it has a base personality, but has a second personality to go with that. Whereas to me, all Genocide Jack is a one-dimensional serial killer, so I would put her in just C2. No, but that's the thing, she might be one-dimensional, but at least she's just entertaining, and you know why she's there, and... Alright, she don't provide out to, like, the class trial, but, you know, she's just entertaining, she's a better- she's just a better character, that's why I, I want- I can't put her in the same tier as Toko. Oh yeah, I wouldn't- Toko yeah. Sucks. Compared to the rest that we've put in, like, B tier and C tier, definitely deserves in B tier compared to C tier. Hundred, hundred percent. So screw you, Jordan. We're no, putting no. Genocide Jack in B tier. <laughs> no, there's no way. But... Two against one, Jordan. Uh, so, Sakura Ogami, the ultimate martial artist. What do we think, Hannah? Uh, Sakura was someone that I didn't really pay attention to until a bit later in the game. So at first, it was just I don't know, big tough person that I just didn't really pay attention to. But actually, I I ended up really liking Sakura. Um. And I, I really liked her case as well. I don't know what it was about it. I just thought it it made it very interesting the way it happened. And the friendships that Sakura had with Hina. But yeah, no, so I would actually end up putting Sakura probably in A tier. Oh, bold claims, bold mm. claims, John. I'll be honest, I would take it a step further and put Sakura in S tier. Mm. I'll be honest, well. Sakura is one of my favourite characters in Danganronpa as a whole. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, she was really good, uh, quite strict and stern in certain places. She took, didn't really take any shit. Uh, she had quite a good friendship with Hina. But even though she was the traitor, in a way, as Honor presided, she only did it out of Honor. Like, she only did it to protect her family's legacy in Dojo. I don't know, I just really... I was really upset when Sakura died in the fourth case. I, I wish it would have been somebody else, like Toko, or someone else. So, to me, she should be an S tier, not A tier. I actually agree with Hannah on this one, in that I do think she is an amazing character, she is really good. I just think S tier is maybe just a step too far. I, I, if there was like an A+, plus, then yeah, I'd totally put her in like A+, plus, but there isn't, there's A or S, and so I would have to by that account, round it to A, because I, I don't like the fact that it was suicide, I'm gonna be honest, I think that kind of sucked, and I will never ever forget, I got to the case, I saw her, like, her die, it got into the point where it's like, right, investigation, and I just looked at the screen, and was like, okay, I'm gonna call it there and save it for the day, had a conversation with Jordan afterwards and said, I think she committed suicide because she poisoned herself. And that's with zero investigation, zero anything, and I was 100% on the money. The trial was good, mm. but I feel like it was one of them things where I, I like how they did it, because obviously there was a lot surrounding it that made it look like other people killed her, but when it was just like, oh no, it was just suicide, it was a bit crap. Yeah. But I like what they did with the suicide, like with the whole like final uh, note and everything like that, which actually unified everybody. I do, I love that. And that was all in Sakura's words as well so she did a brilliant job almost talking myself into s that's, that's actually, what i'm trying to say I'm... that's s <laughs> if you think I know, I know what you mean but i still think that it deserves more in a tier than s tier because no. as good as sakura yeah. was i still I think... think she's not quite top yeah i suppose early Especially, early, yeah, early game, game sakura is a bit yeah early game she is a little bit meh i suppose so yeah I'm, I'm, all right i'm a i'm a tier for sakura I, I... Right, John, I would totally agree with you about Sakura, but 
I only have one one word for you. Do you want to know what that word is? Go on, what is it? In other words, wrong. Oh. I pressed the wrong one, <laughs> so you get four words instead. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong, so we're, we're putting her in 80. Oh. Aw. <laughs> All right. Next on the list, I know this is going to be somewhat controversial, is <laughs> Aoi Asahina. So, uh, Jordan, you go first. Uh, I'll put her in B2. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, I know you said that just to annoy me. I haven't said it, well, I haven't said it just to annoy anyone. Like, my favourite character. You've said it for the content, Jordan. No, <laughs> it's for the content. If one of my favourite characters is in B2, then well, someone else's favourite character can be in B2. I'm not fair. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, we're having words <laughs> later. <laughs> you can taste the salt in the air, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, to me, uh, Hina doesn't really contribute super tons to finding the mystery. Well, yes, she's still, she's there, and the whole thing about trying to take the heat for Sakura's suicide so that she'd kill everybody, because she led the other suicide net, was really cool. I don't think it really saved her that much to go in the really top end of the qualities in the tier. Right. Well, Hannah, since you feel so strongly about that, why don't you go next? Nina should be an S tier. Oh, bold claim! I, I absolutely love Hina. So Hina, so like, I've only played like first game and halfway through the second game. But out of all of Danganronpa that I've played so far, Hina is definitely my top character. Um, I love, I love Hina. I, I don't know. She, I think I just really like that type of character, kind of energetic and really sweet. I like, I like how she's got this weird obsession with donuts. I don't know what it is. It's random. <laughs> I, I felt like it's just kind of random. Um, and I did actually really like that she tried to convince everyone that she kills Sakura. I, I don't know. There's just there's something about here that I just that I just think she's she's top tier. I do like Hina. I think she's really good. I would be happy with either S or A. I am not putting her in B. Like, no way. Christ. She deserves a B. He she's said that she's just better than <laughs> yeah. She deserves so much better than B tier. Like she is great. Like. Oh, she's awesome. I like Hina. She just she's always just like really lively and just has mm. so much like energy and like you know that she's in a scene but not for like the bad reasons with other characters like um I don't know, Taka and uh, and Genocide Jack and that. They're in it you know that she's in it but for a good reason. Yeah, like she always tries to get involved. I mean, okay, yeah, she is a little bit useless in like investigations and kind of in the class trials as well. Mm. But um I agree with you, Hannah. What she does in Sakura's case is, it shows how much she cares, even though at the end of the day she was ultimately wrong. Um, it shows that she cares, like, and cares a hell of a lot about her friends and about everybody. Even though she doesn't, even people she don't really like, she still cares about them and doesn't necessarily want them to die. And You know what I mean? I just, I don't, yeah. she, she deserves better than B tier. I'm happy with either S or A. I'll, I'll broker a negotiation. Like, you've convinced me enough for A, is what I'll say. All right, so we're putting her on S here. Good to know. What? What? <laughs> so not biased with the Hina possible either. <laughs> oh. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Now I like Yasuhiro. He is most definitely the comic relief character who is supposed to be the comic relief character because he's just a dumb idiot who is not in any fault. He's so far out of his league, it's kind of hilarious. I would like to put... <laughs> I don't feel super, super strongly about this, but I'm I'm happy for Hagakure to go in A. Hey. Yeah, I, I like him. I think he's great. He's he's just he's this hilarious dumbass psychic dude who just is no. In a way, he shouldn't be in the game, but he is, and he's just funny. He's a moron, but he's a funny moron who just is always there. And hell, he survives for God's sake. I don't know. I like him a lot. I find him. I think charming's the wrong word, but I find him as a really, a really good character. He just he plays his part incredibly well, even though he doesn't do loads. So I'm happy for A tier, but what do you both think? I disagree with A tier. Like if you look at the tier at the moment, you've got like Mondo, Sakura, Bayakia on A tier. I don't think Yasuhiro. Yes, while he is funny and he's good comic relief, he isn't at that quality standard. I would be happy with him at B tier. It's like he's not 
of the survivors and he's kind of forgettable a little bit. He doesn't yeah, really but he's got, a lot, he's got a lot of A's in his name. He also has a lot of A's in his name, Tucker. That's completely uh, terrible logic, John. That doesn't, that's irrelevant. Which is why Yasuhiro <laughs> should be in B. See, I'm using Yasuhiro logic to completely not fool you. Has it worked? No. 30%? 30%? <laughs> I'll be honest, apart him and Toka were tied with the most forgettable survivors, in my opinion, so I put him at B. Because he still does have good moments. B! <laughs> Even though you just meant compared him to Toko, who's on C, but okay. <laughs> For me, I never... I didn't talk to him at all. There were a few... He had a few lines which were kind of funny, but overall a very forgettable character, as Jordan said. I didn't really oh, pay much great. attention to him. I'd say, especially considering what we actually already have in the cheers as well, I would say he's not quite as, he's not as good as Taka in my opinion, but he's not oh. so bad to be in C tier. I would Damn. definitely, I would definitely say B tier. Especially considering of who we've got in the cheers at the moment. Oh, you, you had doing Hayakore, he's great. He's, oh. I, I, I think he's great. I think he's awesome. Yeah, but he's not the hero. He can't, he can't. I will be quiet, John. <laughs> <laughs> Stop using terrible jokes that no one's going to get, all right? Like, go away. <laughs> oh, he's great. I, 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 just, I just like him. I just think he's a he's just a funny character. But, I mean, we can put him on B if you want, I, I guess. Hmm. All right, right, thanks, for watching the video. <laughs> thanks for watching the video, ladies and gentlemen. It's been greatly appreciated. No, we're not done no, yet. No. Now, hold we on. are done. No, we're not. We are done. We are done. We're not done. We need to We need to No, we don't. We do. Right, 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 right. No. <laughs> we don't need a debate. Fine, go on then. I suppose I should listen to your opinion. I, I would put her no, um, at C tier. No, I get it. I get, I get murdered just the same. Man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's oh yeah. <laughs> In all seriousness, I, I would say she's definitely up there with S tier. Like, well, she is up there with S tier. She's above us. <laughs> Maybe not above S tier. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I, I would definitely say she's very deserving of S tier. Like, she's an incredible support character. Hell, none of literally any of Danganronpa would have existed without Kyoko. Probably. They'd have all died straight away. But yeah, there's a good mystery in it. And she's just. She's a fantastic character, and I would definitely put her in S tier. I would, I, would, I would say S tier. I wouldn't put her above. But I would say S tier. Um, straight away, I was I wanted to know. I basically spent as much, many free times as I could with her when I well, apart from a couple other ones. But I wanted to know what the hell was going on with Yoko because she was just such a mystery. And I did really, I did really like her as a character. Um, but I, I, do, I definitely, I wouldn't say she's above them, even though I'm probably gonna get a shot for saying that. But I wouldn't say she's above the other two in S tier. Alright. Alright. No, no, I'm gonna do this as nice and calm and Yoko wise as possible. Let me just uh, do something fine, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen! Do you wanna know what fourteen, what the number fourteen is? Why I'm saying the number fourteen? Because that's how many screenshots of quote, Kyoko quotes I have on my tablet. And that's only from three different cases. That's not from the entire game. And they all range from being really smart, really good life models, and being really caring for the characters. Which is why she's amazing. Also, as John said, nothing would have gone well with, uh, with Kyoko. You know that she knows literally everything in every single case, but doesn't say it because you have to come to your own conclusions in order to be satisfied with the results, which is close to a Kyoko quote. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting... On that logic, then you'll, if we were doing it, you'd have to put Nagito there as well. Nagito! <laughs> we're, no, we're not even... <laughs> how, how fucking dare you? <laughs> no, I uh, just... That's a different tier list video, alright? <laughs> not only is Kyoko better than every character in Trigger Happy Havoc, she is better than every character in Danganronpa. Full stop. That's the end of that sentence. It cannot be argued with because it is the truth, because there is only <laughs> yeah. ever one absolute truth. Uh, no, Hina's terrible compared <laughs> to Kyoko. 
<laughs> giving it S tier was like, you know, it's being nice. This isn't even being nice to Kyoko, this is giving her a disservice. Disservice! <laughs> being above everybody. Because she's only above everybody in Trigger Happy, she should be above everybody in her own tier in a list of every single Danganronpa character. Because that's how she is. <laughs> Doesn't deserve her own tier. <laughs> Shut up, Jordan! You're wrong! <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. Alright, Jordan. There you go. I, I would still put her in that story. No. I can't exemplify how good of a character she is. And I'm not just talking even Daniel Romper now, I'm talking with the spectrum of character. That's how good she is. She's just so amazing. Because she just covers so many different bases and is amazing at doing it. She's just so smart and clever and cares about everybody and isn't a moron, which like everybody is. Oh. Hell, even to an extent, she's funny. Even when she doesn't mean to be, I think she's just absolutely hilarious in certain regards, just because of the things that she says and does. I will let you keep Kyoko in her own city if you'll move Taffer up to 18. <laughs> what? We are not doing this kind of bargaining. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome, alright, John? So what, what you guys need to do is believe me that Kyoko needs to be on top of everybody because she's amazing. Do not read into that sentence. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right now, I am presenting a, deme a strong demeanor in order to get through persuasion and negotiation right now. And you two are just ignoring it. Right, because you're both wrong. You're both just wrong. All right, everything about everything you just said, everything you just said is wrong. All right, not about any of the characters. That's fine. But about the film, film you're all wrong. Boom. <laughs> you two stress me out. I don't know why we're friends. All right. <laughs> you know what, John? That's what pissing me off. <laughs> what? No. All right. No. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> no, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You can go. You can go back and beat it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. I genuinely need to go sit down for a minute, even though I already am. Uh, yeah, all right. Drop a like. Leave a comment. Subscribes are always appreciated. And don't forget to ring the notification bell for all our latest content. And I'll say something too. <laughs>